Hey, it's Mike from brew-dews.com. Uh, tonight I wanted to show you how we, uh, how I bottle beer off the kegerator. We had our big whole kegging series about how to put your beer in kegs and how to make perfect pours and how to drink beer right from your kegerator. But what if you want to send beer out to a competition? What if you want to give some beer to your dad? Um, and you want to put it in bottles and cap it off. So there's a lot of ways to do that. You can buy a pressure uh, a counter pressure bottle filler. You can get a beer gum from Blickman. I'm sure there are all kinds of other gadgets out there to do too. They all cost a little bit of money. They all work great. Some are more difficult to use than others. I have a low budget, super easy way to do this. And it was actually told uh, by me. I was judging a competition once and I met this guy who was the head brewer at Z Street Brewing in Massachusetts. And this is the method he told me to use for simple beer bottling. So what I do is, normally my kegs are at 15 PSI for serving pressure. That's way too much pressure to try to bottle beer off of. Because it's, the beer is kind of flowing kind of quick, and it creates a lot of turbulence. You can get a lot of foaming, and the foaming is a loss of carbonation. And what you don't want is have a beer that's kind of half carbonated when a judge opens it or your father opens it. So you want to keep the carbonation up. The way to do that is to minimize foaming. Um, the best way to do that is to slowly dispense the beer. So the way I do that is I use uh, just reg my regular tubing and I use one of these uh, Cobra taps this, or picnic faucet they call it and I jam a piece of tubing on here. It's just stuck right on the end of there. This piece of tubing is long enough to go all the way into the bottom of the bottle so that when I dispense the beer it's not running down the bottle because that would just create more foam, right? So I'm going to fill from the bottom. The other thing about filling from the bottom too is that as there is some foam being generated it's kind of creating a blanket of CO2 over the beer to help minimize oxidation and staling of the beer. So it'll slowly fill and come to the top. And as I get to the top, I'll slowly pull it out. You gotta kind of gauge your head space. Um, but it's not like carbonating beer with um, uh, priming sugar, so the head space isn't as critical there. Um, so the way that I was told to do this is I burp, I, uh, I turn off the gas, I release all the pressure off the head of the keg uh, with the pressure relief valve, which we've talked about. And then I take the, the regulator on my CO2 tank and I turn it all the way down to zero. So I've got zero pressure in the system. There's still a little bit of residual carbonation coming off the carbonated beer. Um, but then what I do is I, I get this set up and I'll, I'll push the faucet to start dispensing it. Then I'll slowly turn up the pressure on the regulator until the, just until the beer starts to flow. Get a nice slow flow. I'm sh probably shooting for somewhere between 2 and 4 PSI. So let's give it a shot. There's enough residual pressure here already. Let me just adjust my regulator a little bit. Okay. So now you can see I'm getting some good flow there. Minimal foam. Switch hands so you can see that. You kind of don't want to stop because when you do stop, that's when you get some foam in the line. So I'm getting close to the top. There's the beer at the top. I keep squeezing it, get a little beer in there. Let that last little bit run out. If you overfill it, that's okay. You can just pour a little bit of that out. Okay, and then we just cap as normal. In fact, if you get a little foam coming from the top, people will say you want to cap on foam because that's eliminating all the O2 in the bottle. There you go. Irish Red, bottled up, ready to go. Hope that helps. If you have questions, put them in the comment section. Brew on.